What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to teach you this really cool false shuffle. It's a really fancy little thing I made up. Uh, nothing super original idea wise. It's a lot of basic things in cardistry, um, a lot of concepts that most people know added together. If you're excited to learn it, drop a like real quick and follow if you're new and let's get into it. So a little bit of prerequisites or things that you should know beforehand are the Charlier cut. I've taught it before, but a very, very brief tutorial. You hold the deck like this. Okay, and you lift up with your thumb, use your pointer finger to bring this part up and then drop it. Another basic you should know is the swing cut like this. You basically just take your pointer finger, lift up like this with your middle and ring here and thumb in the back, and you drag it like this with your other hand. You take your left, kind of clip it with your thumb. That's the swing cut. And last thing you should know is this little turnover thing. I'm not sure if there's a name for it, but you hold it like this with your ring in front, thumb in back, pointer and middle on top and you turn it over as you slide your thumb. What is up guys? Today I'm going to teach you the top shot by Leonard Green. It's a really cool way to take the top card of the deck and shoot it out and catch it. If you're excited to learn it, drop a like on this video and follow if you're new real quick. I'd really appreciate it and let's get into it. So what's cool about this move is you can use it as a magic trick, right? Where they pick a card. Let's say they pick the nine of hearts, right? Actually my favorite card. It goes in the deck and I actually got it to the top. That's a tutorial for a different time. But then you could shoot it and be like, was that your card? So it's really, really cool. Or you can just use it to look cool. But let me show you how to do it. So you hold the deck in your standard dealer's grip. Okay, so your thumb is on the outside of your body, right? And then your pointer is in the front, middle, ring, and pinky on the other side. And then here's what you do. You use your pinky finger to kind of drag the card down and it should have contact between your thumb and your pinky and the card kind of starts to bend, okay? From there, you just release the pressure with your thumb and the card should shoot out. It's kind of hard to do slow-mo, but what should happen is as it bends, pressure is starting to form. So when Yo, Evan the card guy here. Today I'm gonna to teach you this cool little twirly thing. It's super cool. It's a cool cardistry move that you can combine with other things and it makes a really cool combo or you can just do it as a standalone thing and it's pretty nice. So let me teach you it right now. If you're excited to learn it, hit that like button and let's get into it. So you're gonna grab a small pile of cards, maybe about like six cards, okay? Um, that was exactly six, but about six cards. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it on your pinky on one corner and your thumb on the opposing corner, okay? So if you're left-handed, it'll be the non-index corners, but if you're right-handed, it's the index corners, meaning where the numbers are. All right, from here, you're gonna take your pointer finger and put it on the side like this, okay? Then you're gonna use your pointer finger, curl it inwards like this, okay? From here, take your middle finger, put it on top of the packet, and you're gonna use your pointer finger and your middle finger to slide that card out, to strip that top card out, and you're gonna extend your- What's up guys, Evan the card guy here. Today I'm gonna teach you two different ways to make it look like you're shuffling the deck, but the entire deck remains in the exact same order from top to bottom. If you're excited, drop a like really quick. I'd really appreciate it. And if you'd like to check out these cards, thank you so much for sending these. Uh, these are the Omega playing cards by Galaxy Decks. Super cool, they look nice, they feel nice. So go check them out. I'll link them in the description or caption or something. But let's get into this. All right, so this is the table version. This is the easier one. So you're gonna start off by doing a swing cut. If you don't know how to do a swing cut, it's super easy. You hold the deck in middle grip like this with your thumb in the back, middle and ring on the side. Pinky could just be kind of hovering. And you're gonna use your pointer finger to just lift up some of the cards, come over with your other hand and just strip it off like that. That is the swing cut. You can just practice that before you actually get into the move. So that is the swing cut. Once you have the swing cut down, this is all you're gonna do for the table false shuffle. You're gonna take a third of the deck, put it in your left hand, or if you're left-handed, put it in your right hand. Um, and How most people shuffle a deck of cards. How someone with a little more skill would shuffle a deck of cards. But let me show you how I shuffle a deck of cards. I have way too much free time. <laughs> Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can shoot a partridge with a single cartridge. I Quick, think of a number between one and four. I have two jacks. If I just snap, one card appears in between. Boom, the number three. Were you thinking three? Let me know, guys. But if you weren't, <coughs> see, I always have backups. There's if you thought one, there's if you thought two, and there's if you thought four. If you guys want to see more magic, let me know by just hitting that like. Follow if you're new. Thanks, guys.
Hey guys, it's me Kareem and I'm here with the deck of cards. I want to try this new card trick. I'm going to riffle through the cards and you're going to remember one card you see, okay? But not this card at the front. So I'm going to riffle through. Did you got one? Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to mix up the cards just like this. Give a little mix. And now I need to find your card, okay? So was this your card? No, this was not your card? Okay, let's change it into your card, just like this. If this was your card, then make sure to click the like button, leave a comment, and also follow me on my account. And uh, I will see you next time. Evan the Card Guy here. Today I'm gonna to teach you three different ways to fan a deck of cards. The first one is just your standard thumb fan. The second one is a cool little one-handed one. And the last one is also one-handed, but it's for the whole deck and it looks like that. So guys, if you're excited to learn these fans, hit that like button real quick and let's get into it. Thank you very much. All right, let's do this. All right, so for the thumb fan, you're gonna come over with your right hand or your dominant hand, put your middle finger and ring finger on one side and your thumb on the other, okay? And now you're gonna hold out your other hand like this with your thumb out and all your fingers outwards. And instead of placing the cards in the direct line of your fingers, you're gonna kinda angle it back towards you, okay? This will allow the fan to look more full when you fan it. Instead of like a half circle, it'll have more of an actual fan type look. Okay, so you come over like this, angle it back. You're gonna hold with your thumb and your fingers like this. It'll only really be touching your pointer and middle at first. But then you're gonna use your right thumb or dominant thumb to slow. Evan the Card Guy here. Today I'm gonna to teach you three different ways to fan a deck of cards. The first one is just your standard thumb fan. The second one is a cool little one-handed one. And the last one is also one-handed, but it's for the whole deck and it looks like that. So guys, if you're excited to learn these fans, hit that like button real quick and let's get into it. Thank you very much. All right, let's do this. All right, so for the thumb fan, you're gonna come over with your right hand or your dominant hand. Put your middle finger and ring finger on one side and your thumb on the other, okay? And now you're gonna hold out your other hand like this with your thumb out and all your fingers outwards. And instead of placing the cards in the direct line of your fingers, you're gonna kinda angle it back towards you, okay? This will allow the fan to look more full when you fan it. Instead of like a half circle, it'll have more of an actual fan type look, okay? So you come over like this, angle it back. You're gonna hold with your thumb and your fingers like this. It'll only really be touching your pointer and middle at first but then you're gonna use your right thumb or dominant thumb to slow. Yo, Evan the Card Guy here. Today I'm gonna teach you this cool little twirly thing. It's super cool. It's a cool cardistry move that you can combine with other things and it makes a really cool combo or you can just do it as a standalone thing and it's pretty nice. So let me teach you it right now. If you're excited to learn it, hit that like button and let's get into it. So you're gonna grab a small pile of cards, maybe about like six cards, okay? Um, that was exactly six, but about six cards and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it on your pinky on one corner and your thumb on the opposing corner, okay? So if you're left-handed, it'll be the non-index corners, but if you're right-handed, it's the index corners, meaning where the numbers are, all right? From here, you're gonna take your pointer finger and put it on the side like this, okay? Then you're gonna use your pointer finger, curl it inwards like this, okay? From here, take your middle finger, put it on top of the packet, and you're gonna use your pointer finger and your middle finger to slide that card out, to strip that top card out, and you're gonna extend your- How most people shuffle a deck of cards. How someone with a little more skill would shuffle a deck of cards. But let me show you how I shuffle a deck of cards. I have way too much free time.